Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you your Virgo reading, okay? So, you guys, flip the roses you see fit. You know who plays what in your story. I don't. I'm just picking up on the energy. Overall, please use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. If you gotta try to guess who's and who's what and where this fits in your story, it doesn't fit, okay? Please stop trying to force it, all right? For all of you who got this, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your encouragement. Thank you so much for your positive words, okay? Um, I definitely appreciate my collective, y'all. Um, you are amazing, all right, y'all? Now, um, of course, I want to set my intentions before I get started, and then I'm going to dive right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading for Virgo. Thank you for using me as the messenger. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly. Thank you for showing me what I need to see. Thank you for helping me to be a clear channel for Virgo. And so it is. All right, so let's see what y'all energy is like. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. The six chakra is in the reverse. So something here with your personal vision. All right, so remember, flip the rose as you see fit. Cross watchers, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you. So something is blocking your personal vision. Your third eye, right? Show me what I need to see here. The Patience card is in the upright position with the Karen connection. Whew, let me tell you, see that the angel of balance, that's almost like the temperance card. Okay, and what I see here is that you may be trying to be patient, but you can't see your vision. You're trying to be patient here with this Karen connection here that you have with this person. But something is blocking you. So when it comes to your sight, let's see with your third eye. Let's see. Tell me about the sixth chakra in the reverse. So when it comes to you following this process, right, with this the higher front or being committed. Okay, here. What I'm feeling is there's like, hmm, let me pull another card before I say it. Yeah, you're not getting any rewards with the seven of pentacles in reverse. You're not seeing your efforts pay off. It's like you're on this journey. All right, some of you are on a twin flame journey. Some of you are just in a connection where you do want to see something evolve out of it. And what I see is it's like you're trying to put in and you're not seeing any results. Page of Wands comes up in the upright position, okay? So you're trying all types of stuff is what I'm seeing. It's like you're, whatever idea comes to you is like, oh, let me try that. Let me try this, right? Like how can I get this connection to be equal or to be balanced, right? Or to just be able to see something come out of it is what I'm hearing. Thank you. Tell me what I need to see. And some of you, you totally understand. It's like I'm on this twin flame journey and I understand here that a lot of times, yep, it takes the masculine a minute to be able to match your energy, right? So I definitely understand that's where the patience is coming in at. But I also see, yeah, with the high priest is in the upright position. So you understand, it's basically telling me everything I just spoke. You understand here why they are still stuck in between, like, what should I do? How, you know, should I do it? Should I stay? Should I go? Uh, not following that higher purpose. Still feeling all conflicted here with the Eight of Swords coming out, okay? And you may be at this point now where you're getting defensive, okay? But it feels like here, it's like a one-sided relationship is what I'm feeling. But it's almost as this, it's like either they're defensive and you're defensive. It's like this mirroring energy. It's almost like they're refusing to comply or, or compromise or something here, right? But it's like y'all have a lot of love. I can see that. It's mutual with the love, but it's still something here because they're so trapped in their mind. What is it that they're trapped in their mind about? Or flip the rose, y'all. What is it that they're trapped? Six of Cups comes out in an upright position. Tell me what I need to see. Hmm. 
So they're thinking. All right, so with that six of cups coming out here in the upright position, they're thinking. They're in nostalgia right now. I think they're trying to, like, you know how you try to go into another place where it, it feels familiar or it's happier times there? Okay, because what I'm seeing here, this totally looks like different energy. Um, They may have reconnected with somebody. Hmm. Let's see, Seven of Swords is in a reverse position. So that's some type of truth is being revealed or some type of confession that's going to be made. The Nine of Swords comes out in a reverse position here. Um, and I'm definitely seeing recovery, okay? So if you're worried about an ending with the Death card coming up, it's almost, help me understand what that means, Spirit. It's almost as if, tell me about this Six of Cups. They're, it's almost as if they don't shift their energy here that this situation may end with you. If they don't connect back with you is what I'm hearing. Okay. Page of Wands. Yeah, that this situation may end. So they definitely are worried about that. It's like if we, if I don't recover whatever we got, I got here with Virgo. If I don't express this, um, this situation may end. It may be the end, right? And it's, it's one of these things here. It's like they're not sure how to put it into action. Yep. Yeah. So when it comes to offering you that cup of love, Ten of Cups in the reverse position, they are feeling disconnected right now. And they're struggling to communicate some things. Hmm. Why are they feeling disconnected? They're blocked in their intuition. Tell me about the high priestess. Tell me about this high priestess reverse. Mm. So something is, is the three of cups is in the reverse position. They're just disconnected right now. It's like they're not clicking well. Okay, either with you or with someone else, because this could be definitely a third party situation or because they're not clicking well with someone else. It's almost as if they're projecting this energy off onto you. Okay, the fool card comes out. This is why they're not taking no, they're being foolish right now, basically. Tell me about this three of cups in the reverse. Right. This is why they're not. Um, following the process while they're they're not in alignment with you at this moment. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. That's why you're not seeing any type of action. Okay, the tower in reverse. It's like they're averting some type of disaster. You're not seeing any progress with the eight of wands here taking place because it's some type of delay or misunderstandings. The sun is in the reverse, so they're blocked in their happiness. They're not really staying positive about what's happening. All right, so let's see what's going on. Hold up. What's going on here with this third party situation? The hang one comes out, so it's something here that has them uncertain. Show me what I need to see. Mm. So what I see here with the Hierophant card coming out in the reverse, the Three of Cups coming out in the upright position, they're uncertain if they want to even follow this process or what to do, you know, if they want to commit to a certain process or commit to the relationship, period, okay? Or, uh, I see it. Seven of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse position. So basically what it looks like is happening is because they're not following or committing to this person in this third party um, situation, 
they're uncertain about that okay they're totally not in alignment with something there so some truth was spoken with the seven of swords here in the reverse all right so they were manipulating at some point lying you know how that is hiding behind a mask all that other good stuff right trying to um not hurt somebody's feelings whatever it is it's like something was said okay tell me something with the seven of swords and at first they was had they was good they were celebrating because everything was all good between all of y'all at one point is what i'm seeing thank you tell me about the seven of swords in reverse position look it was just, it was all good just a week ago is what i just heard yeah five of swords in the reverse so oh they reconciled five of swords in the reverse position so whatever argument that they had with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, okay, that's their karma. There was some type of resolution. Tell me about the Five of Swords here in the reverse. Tell me about the Five of Swords in the reverse. They was trying to get things to get better with the Wheel of Fortune coming out with the next to the Three of Wands, right? Because it was too, it was too many obstacles. Let me see something here real quick, y'all. Because it was too many obstacles, they were trying to get things to get better. So what they ended up doing here, it looks like, and this is probably why they are acting the way that they may be acting towards you. Let me see. So let me see. Yeah, they were ready to move forward um, with their life, basically. So what it's saying here in the reverse position. So this is one of these things where they try to argue to the end. Okay, and they only realize that no matter what they do, they lose. So they've been pushing and pushing, but it's like this energy of them being defeated at this point. Okay, because this karmic is not listening to them. All right, so it's a lot of conflict. They tried to walk away from it, but it continues to follow them regardless. So y'all know how the Queen of Wands is in the reverse. This chick is demanding, um, revengeful, okay, um, explosive and everything. And... So an old wound literally, wow, has been reopened and they're experiencing some type of fear and tension, okay, associated with that memory. Wow. So that's what it is. It's like they're trying to get the things to be better here in their life with the wheel of fortune coming up, but here comes the obstacles, okay, and it's frustrating them. So right now they're very frustrated and it's like they're projecting that energy off onto you. They want to be able to bring positive changes to their life, which is I just said here. But they got the uh, conflict, okay? So, so that's what I'm seeing. All right. So it's not. It's it's basically what's happening is because they don't want to follow a certain process here. Overall, it's just like they just want things to be peaceful so that life can get better, and it's not happening. And that truth that they spoke, Seven of Swords, which came out, I think, in previous readings that I've done for Virgo. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in the reverse. It's almost that energy of it was just like, you know, yeah, Nine of Cups in the reverse. They're so disappointed that it's just like, okay, let me just go ahead and speak my truth here just so i can try to fix this situation yep six of wands in a reverse position but they weren't supported this karmic didn't support what they were speaking with the page of pentacles coming out in the upright position okay so they were telling them about their goals they were telling them about you know especially what they wanted to manifest mm -hmm. Even if it just had to do with earthly matters like money, um, a job, their career, things like that. They were trying to tell them about what they, their wish fulfillment is. 
everything that was there and they and this karmic didn't support that okay and yeah that's where it's coming this is where this feeling is coming from it's like they're so worried at this point the high priest is in the reverse position that's a, this is what has them blocked okay page of wands whoever that queen of wands in the reverse is okay this is why they're all up in their head so now they don't know how to express anything. They don't know how to put this stuff into action right now. Um, tell me about the caring connection. Mm. I skipped. I want to know about this patience card. You're patient with this, the Seven of Pentacles. You're patient with this, what you're trying to invest in, what you're trying to manifest. You're patient is what I'm seeing, but you definitely, um, you can't see right now. So you're kind of like, what the heck is happening here? And you may be saying everything is fine, right? Because they're not taking any type of action or, you know, pursuing this. But um, it's you trying to operate in patience right now. I feel like an angel is bringing balance okay to you all right with the page of cups coming out in the upright position um yeah this is probably why you're saying i'm, I'm hearing resilient not not so much persistence but resilient they they definitely have a newfound appreciation for you it's just that they're slow to open up is what i'm saying thank you look there i go again it's just that whatever their karmic situation is that they got going on, they just want this shit to get better. That's it. Three of Wands in a reverse position. They want to be able to see some progress, but they're experiencing too many obstacles. And look, they could be even acting in this Queen of Wands energy. If it ain't, if it isn't a, a fem, another feminine energy, they could be being the ones that's over here being jealous or you know selfish or insecure and hot tempered you know because they're trying to manifest is what i'm seeing okay and having little temper tantrums and shit yeah nah five of wands in the reverse they're trying to end the conflict with this queen of wands yep they're lacking judgment the star card in the upright position the judgment card in the reverse position because what I see here is that it's a it's a blame game that's going on. Okay, and right now it's just like it like I said earlier, it's like they're literally fighting to the death of them to try to to win or it's just to try to get their point across or whatever the conflict may be about, right? And they just want to create positive changes for themselves. But yeah, it's they're dealing with whatever conflict they got going on over there and trying to figure out, yep. They keep telling you everything is fine, but it's not. You can tell they're coming out with that Knight of Swords in the reverse energy. They have very little direction, very scattered in their thinking. And this is also, I'm hearing, is being mirrored back and forth to each other because you're probably like, what the heck is going on? I can't, I don't know what's wrong. I know something is wrong, but I can't pinpoint it, right? So your vision for this is kind of like scattered too as well, okay? And this is where it's coming from. All right, if this is your twin flame. Now, otherwise, yeah, and you probably like, all right, everything is fine. I'm going to be patient for real, but it's really bothering you. Let me see something. All right, show me what I need to see here for Virgo. So it's some type of message. We want to see what this message is about. So a message may have came through for a masculine 
or you, if it's feminine, it doesn't matter. But whatever the message may be, okay, it's about a child and it's leaving this masculine in despair. All right, or it could even be, shoot, their own uh, trauma, childhood trauma too, if there's no children involved. It literally could be whatever that message is may have triggered something that has happened to them in childhood. So we're going to see. Tell me about this message card. <laughs> yep, judgment in reverse. So whatever it is, it's like they may have gotten a text message here. and Or they may have messaged somebody and it's just about, I feel like it's the child's mother or the mother or whoever this is. Okay, and they've been blaming Somebody's been blaming the other person. It's like they're being blamed here. They're being blamed is what I'm seeing. Okay. And you know how it is. It's like after you went through this period of awakening, I feel a sense of self-doubt now um, because of what this person is blaming them of. They're blaming them because it's like things aren't getting better here between us. And this is what it was supposed to do. What is being blamed? What is being blamed? Why is the judgment card in the reverse? They're being blamed because they were supposed to progress here or they had some plans. It has something to do with future plans. So what I'm hearing is this masculine may have had some plans, okay, involving this child or with a child with the child's mother. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing masculine, okay? With the child, um, with the involving this child, two of wands coming up in the upright position. And it's like failed plans. Or this masculine is being hesitant about even moving forward with these plans. The temperance is in the reverse. But it is it's failed plans because the ten of swords is here. It ended. So now it's like everybody is here in their um Five of Swords energy here, arguing, conflict, fighting. This masculine has tried to walk away from this, but it continues to follow him. Remember, the Queen of Wands in the reverse is revengeful. They're going to constantly keep doing things just to win. And it's just out of their their ego selves. It's out of revenge. Yeah, and they keep, your masculine keeps saying, or if you're masculine, you keep saying everything is fine, but it's not. Somebody is in despair. Tell me about the child. Page of cups come out in an upright position. That's the communication again. This, this, what I'm feeling is somebody's being persistent. This karmic on this masculine is being persistent here. And they're constantly probably texting them and all this other type of stuff here to try to bring this idea so that things can get better. So they may be using this child here to try to get what they want. Yup, the world card in the reverse. So that they can try to get, you know, that, reach that milestone. What I'm seeing is like they got children with someone or whatever's happening and this child's mother wants to be able to um, accomplish something. Okay, with this masculine when it comes to their goals. Tell me about the despair card. Page of Wands in the reverse. This masculine is in despair because they don't know how to put anything into action right now. They don't know how to express the ideas that they're having. Okay, their ego is getting in the way. So this is why they're in this full energy being reckless here. Reckless. Not moving forward, not doing anything. Yep, the chariot in the up right next to the eight of pentacles. Not that they're not overcoming this challenge, they just literally are not working on anything right now. Yep, they can't, they're having a hard time overcoming this challenge with this queen of wands in the reverse. What is this masculine's energy towards Virgo or towards my collective? Strategy. Look, y'all mirroring each other's energy. Yep. 
They had a strategy at first. Or they need to, but no, they had a strategy at first. Most deaf. Six chakra in the reverse. They're just as blocked too. Blossoming in abundance. They're not seeing any increase in their life right now. So with the yin and yang card in the reverse position too as well, I really feel like, you know, instead of them taking a more active, more logical approach to things, they're actually withdrawing that energy and they're going within, right? Trying to figure out, okay, what to do. They're trying to examine this, but they ain't, they ain't doing a good job, right? <laughs> Tell me about the sixth chakra in the reverse position. Yep. When it comes to taking this leap of faith and, and, and so things can get better, mm -mm. there's no closure. The world card in the reverse. There's delays, there's misunderstandings. This masculine feels empty right now. Page of Cups, there's no communication. They're not opening up. They're not trying to make anything better when it comes to you right now. It's just almost as if it's like they're too caught in their head about this, whatever their karmic situation is. Resistance. Yep. Yeah, they're being resistant right now. Look at that. Gang, gang. Sarah. <laughs> they're being resistant y'all i know right it's like damn you be seeing so much progress and then they just go back into their double energy right it's like mm. you are scared that you're gonna make them you're gonna mess it all up and this is what i'm feeling like if you're masculine or if this is your person they're scared okay that they're gonna mess it all up they may have stumbled, but this is a new day. So learn to show up for yourself. Wow. You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Stop holding back, worrying, and pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping into the greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance block growth, creativity, and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation, but there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force. You really are. And this is what this masculine is on. It says, declare, this is me. I show up. They're not showing up for themselves. They're not showing up for their dreams or anything. They have chosen to shut down. Mm. Maybe the energy be too better tomorrow. Send them love and light. Um, otherwise, if you like, um, you know, uh, then keep your vibes high. Try not to be triggered. Face what you need to face and move forward. Okay? That's all it is. Otherwise, send them love and light and still keep moving forward. Okay? Because you got to keep your vibration at a certain level here um, in order for you to continue to manifest what it is that you actually desire for yourself, Virgo. All right? It was a lot of, let me tell you, that energy that was coming in from that masculine is just, it's heavy. It's heavy. Okay? Um, they don't understand. So even as you as you can notice in some parts of the messages, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not clear what's happening here. Well, they don't, they really don't understand. And I really feel like even with you too, you guys are all in that energy here where you blocked in that part, your third eye, because you are mirroring each other. So cleanse yourself is what I just heard. Let me see here. So, yeah, they have to get clear. So it says the, this card reverse, which is the um, sixth chakra card, okay? The clarity of thought and personal vision. It says get clear. You may have been lost in confusion and unclear or distorted in your thinking. But even if this state of mental chaos has been going on for quite some time, you lack your lack of personal direction can be turned around. Take off the blinders and widen your perspective. Visualize the life you want to live and the person you want to be and make that your intention. It's time to break out of old toxic thought patterns, whether they be habits of worry, doubt, or self-criticism. 
It's also time to develop a clear, healthier vision of how you perceive yourself and what you want your life, daily life to look like. Know that you are in charge of making it so. So meditate on Metatron's strong presence in your brow center and see a beautiful indigo light spinning there. Affirm that you are creating a new clarity and sense of direction. You have all the power you need to create a strong personal vision that will guide you on your path. Make that priority now, okay? So you have the power, okay? You have everything you need to create a strong personal vision here that will guide your path. So see a beautiful indigo light spinning there, okay? Right in this, in your brow center. Um, Anything else? Okay. My sixth chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. My personal vision guides me and my thoughts are peaceful and clear. All right, y'all. So that's it, Virgo. Oof, let me tell y'all. So we meet again tomorrow. Okay, honeys, I, I, I'm praying for you. Peace.